Our camp is expanding nicely, but let's speed it up a bit, shall we? In this video, we will go over what to look for to really grow the camp. But before we do, make sure to subscribe to this channel to never miss anything about lost survivors. We have a cozy camp now, and it's time we expand it further. But where to start? First, let's go over the different types of buildings and what they are used for. After opening the construction menu, you will see a row of tabs at the bottom. Each of these tabs contains the buildings of a certain type. The first tab is for the feature buildings. These buildings are important for your camp since they unlock new features, minigames, rewards and more. Some examples are the parrot tree and radio tower, which we have already built. With further buildings, we'll also gain access to multiplayer features, landscaping, raft upgrades and much more. I recommend that we always build these buildings as soon as they become available. On the second tab, we find the survival buildings. Constructing these buildings and upgrading them will give survival points. Once we earn enough, we'll be able to upgrade the radio tower, meaning we can get more SOS signals from survivors on the world map. In the third tab, we can find the workstations, which are the production buildings dedicated to all the specialists we rescue on the world map. As you can see, there are many of them. And then we haven't even mentioned the cultivation, animal habitats, rally points, pet feeders and decorations yet. We will cover those in more detail in another video. But where will I place all these buildings, I hear you ask. No worries, there is plenty of space on the island. However, we might need to encourage the trees to move a bit. By tapping on the overgrown areas of the jungle, you will be shown what's needed to unlock the expansion. We'll always need some coins, and if we advance a bit further, we may also need machetes or shovels. These items can be found by visiting locations on the world map, but for now, coins should be enough. Simply select an area near your camp that you want to clear and confirm your choice, and the survivors will get to work. Once they are done, we can unveil the new area by tapping on it. Just like that, you have expanded your camp and created more space to rearrange your buildings. You can immediately move any buildings you have already built to the new space, if you want, or you can construct new buildings there. To move buildings, long press on any of your buildings to enter the move mode and move it around the camp. If the expansion you cleared is directly next to one of the gathering spots, you will also be able to move the gathering spot itself. Have a go at it, long press one of your gathering spots. See? You can really reposition almost anything. The only building that cannot be moved is the pier. And don't worry about the water too much. If it is shallow water, you can even move buildings there and the terrain will adjust automatically. While streets are a nice way to visually improve your camp, they are not needed, so you can move any buildings on the island as you please. With all this newfound knowledge, what ideas do you have for reorganizing your island? Let us know in the comments or in our Facebook group where other survivors may give you even more ideas. See you there and in game.